up, everybody? Russ with RWGresearch.com. Well, I'm doing something a little different, and so I thought, all right, some of you might be interested in this, so I'm going to show you what I'm doing. My wife uh, found a little cool little thing that was uh, basically you take a pallet and you turn it into a hanging bookshelf. Um, so I'm going to kind of go through the process of what I'm doing just because somebody else might want to do this. It's kind of fun. All right, you guys, there they are. The bookshelves. Um, the only thing I would do different is uh, that bottom slat is not all the way down. And uh, the books like to fall out the back. So I'm going to take this uh, off and actually move it down a little bit. So just uh, note that. Otherwise, that looks really cool. So that is officially the video of... Um, the bookshelves made out of pallets, recycled material. FYI, this video is completely backwards, so yeah, keep watching. I think you'll like it. Let's go! Lily, you're making an awful lot of racket. <laughs> hey! Hey! Okay, Riley, get some books! Got our bookshelves done! Da 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 da! <laughs> Yeah, like that. Like that. Yes. Can you get some more? I don't know. Go find them. There they are. Bookshelves hung. Just found some studs. Pre-drilled my hose. One screw there. One screw there. Same thing on that one. Although I think I missed the stud on one. We'll see how long it lasts. <laughs> no, I think it's okay. Yeah, looks, fill it up. How about, like, these big that ones looks upside down, down, but okay. How about these big ones go here and big ones? <laughs> okay. That's what you want to do. Then that's what we'll try. Those look pretty good. Can you reach that one, Dex? It's the high side, huh? I just decided not to have any clothes on in this video. <laughs> okay, what do you think? I love it. Did it okay? Alright, good. It's not so bad. Okie dokie. That's how you make a book palette shelf book. <laughs> Hi, Lily girl. No. Da, 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 da. Oh, Lily, you're a riot. You're a riot. Sliding out the back, Riley. Yeah. You gotta, you gotta stand him up straight. She's got too many in there crooked. Is it like a big gap or? Do, 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 do. Oh, yeah, yeah. So there's the other one. Turned out nice. The bottom here is really crazy. It's like really squiggly. Um, the first one I put the front on first. Um, I put the bottom on, then the front on, and that seemed to work better than putting the back on first because it allows you to get everything the way you like it at front. Then you can tweak and bend and twist the back a little bit. Um, the only reason I didn't like putting the bottom of this one on first um was because of this crazy thing like look at this um crazy the only problem with putting this one on first is when i flipped it over i kind of scratched it a little bit but hey you know what it's a used palette <laughs> so anyway there it is looks pretty good and i will uh, hang them on a wall word oh by the way i got a few just a few nails left quite a few actually but that looks really cool with the with the original nails. And by the way, I used a small hammer like this and just hammered right on the surface and you can see didn't really uh didn't really affect the surface of the nail at all. So that still looks oh, I missed one. <laughs> still looks pretty original. Looks awesome. All right, peace out. See you inside. All right. There you go. That's what a uh a finished bookshelf looks like currently so let me set it uh, maybe over here 
we can get a little bit better view of what it really looks like. Looks good with that uh, with that wood the way it's treated. So I'll go ahead and construct that other one, and then uh, show you what they look like up on the wall. All right there is the bottom. I did the bottom first. I used one of those really crooked pieces, so these guys are like really skewed out. I'll have to work with that as I put this together. But um, I haven't quite decided. I, I kind of like the look that the bottom piece gives me because it is so twisted. So this would be what it looks like on top. Okay, that would be the front of your shelf. And then if I lowered it to about here, that would be the front of the shelf. I kind of like the way that looks better, actually, so I think I'll go with that. Oh, yeah! Alright, so it's been about a week. I just let these guys sit. I had a bunch of other work to do. And uh, so, this is what they look like. They kind of got a little white going on with them, but um, it's kind of interesting. They look pretty good. Look kind of rustic. And uh, now I'm going to put it together. So, I'm going to get that set up, and I'll show you what I'm going to do. I'm, I'm going to put the bottom pieces here, and then put new um, holes in here, so that instead of being flush like they used to be, it's actually going to be over and past the bottom section of piece of wood I'm going to put on the bottom. <clears throat> I don't like the way it looks, so I want it to kind of be open like this. I think it'll look better. I am going to pre-drill the holes with this drill bit, because um, I'm afraid that this hard wood might split. And I don't want it to split, so I'm going to pre-drill the holes, and uh, I think it'll look better. So, let's put one together and see what it looks like. Okie dokie, pokey, smoky, jokey, wokey. Anyway, there it is. Um, these turned out nice. So, basically, I'm going to let these dry for quite some time, and uh, possibly put a new coat on the top. And there she is again, with the trash this time. Okay, so anyway, that's it. We'll let her dry. Both sides are coated. I think it'll look pretty nice. What do you think? Love it. Love it. Did you hear that, guys? We're going to make a shoe rack next. She loves it. We, she said, we are going to make a shoe rack. <laughs> that means I'm going to be slaving her into this one. <laughs> hey, I offered to do this. You didn't want to watch the kids. All right, well, application. Here's what I'm doing. This is the tiki oil. I'm just using a, a brush, putting it on quite heavy. I plan on just doing one coat. I'm supposed to put it on and let it soak in for at least a half an hour, but this stuff, uh, the first pieces I've done, you can see soaked it up quite nice. This piece looks like a really, really hard piece, so it's not quite soaking in as fast. But, um, that's it. Slapping it on. I'll flip these on the side and do the sides, and, uh, yep, just thought I'd show you a quick, quick piece. Kind of going back afterwards and making sure it's all nice, but, uh, supposedly it'll just soak into the wood. You, you. Oh, yeah, yeah, day two. So, I grabbed one of these pieces of wood, and I sanded it with two different grits. And then covered it with a little bit of oil. So here's what it uh, here's what it looks like in the sun. So the stuff on my hand is not coated, and the uh, the other two parts or the other part is coated. And I marked on here. I sanded one with 220 and one with uh, with just 100 grit. Um, so this is 100 grit. That's 220, more of a finish, fine finish. Um, here it is, kind of in the dark. You can see it compared to like cardboard color. So it turned out good. I'm actually using this uh, this tiki tiki oil. I, I didn't really want to like put a clear coat on this thing. I just wanted to make the natural wood color shine. So I heard of this stuff a while back. Somebody mentioned it to use it on my clock, and uh, so I just used it on this. So what I did is I grabbed these are the pieces I have left. I only have four straights left, and they're either cracked, broken, or some other problem with them. Here are the pieces that I finished sanding. And I cut these guys. So in case you're curious, here's kind of a before and after. Let's get that out of the sun. Here's a before and after um, the sanding. So you can see the, uh, the difference. 
And uh, if you look at this stuff in the sun, let's see if we can see it. See all the really bad splinters and stuff on there? That's the stuff I wanted to sand off. Right there you can see pretty pretty bad that is. Where this finished piece doesn't have those. And I uh, just did that because I'm going to have my kids around these things. I wiped the salt dust off of it. The kids around these things and I didn't want that to be a problem. So here is all the pieces. Um, I cut these at an angle because I kind of just like that better. Now I should have made these, I should have cut them a little taller but I cut one and that was it. I couldn't really do much after that. Um, now the lettering that was on here would have liked that to stay but I barely sanded it and it just come off because it's just paint. So I could have got around that by lightly sanding it and just leaving it slightly rough but that's okay so these are my front two pieces uh, these are my back pieces these two pieces here that one and that one's gonna go on kind of the top where you can see them more um, the front pieces are gonna have to be on here like normal where the nails go in the front because of the uh, well, I guess I could flip it over but you got like the cross piece here and I don't like that look um, so uh, yeah, these are the bottom pieces. These are kind of some squirrely ones, but uh, they're going to be on the bottom. And what I'm going to actually do, well, I'll set it up and show you. I'm going to blow these off with some air and make sure they're clear, clean of dust. And then I'll, uh, I'll show you how I'm going to set this up. And then we'll take some oil and brush some oil on it and see what it looks like. <laughs> Don't hit me in the face. This is your idea. No, it's Pinterest. Well, I can't it's your it. idea. It's actually probably not theirs either. Because I, I looked online and there's thousands of pallet shelves. Yeah. I ended up taking all the nails out. In case you didn't know, a freaking pile of nails. Got these things all separated. And the first step is to clean your hands, it looks like. And, um, um, yeah, oh, what's this, by the way? Uh, baby number five. How many? Five. <laughs> oh, jeez. So anyway, um, first step is to take one of these and sand it and see what it looks like. And um, then um, I'll put some stain on it and see what it looks like and then uh, pick my wood out. This will be a lot easier to sand this pallet this way, but I did break some of them getting them apart. So it's kind of a problem. But uh, all in all, that's the next step. Here's a few pieces, and uh, yeah, so I'll show you when I get to the next step. So I'll sand this, get some stuff, and put a little stuff on it, make it make it look nice. Do some tests before I go ahead and uh, sand the rest of them. But one thing I think I forgot to mention is that normally you wouldn't want to take all these planks off, but I'm running into something like this. And if you can see how curved that wood is right there, um, that's not going to hang very nicely against the wall. So I'm actually going to have to replace those planks with different ones. So that's the purpose that I'm actually taking them off. And I might actually use them in the front because they are curved. They're kind of different. I kind of like the way that is. So normally you just whack the pallet right there and just use this bottom piece as your bookshelf. Just FYI, I'm making a lot more work for myself. Now originally I grabbed this pallet which is um, basically newer and I wasn't sure what I was going to do with it and so I figured out that you need the bottom side of the pallet to be halfway decent and or you're going to have to remove uh, the planks and put them on the other sides so that's not what I was wanting to do um, so I found this pallet which was laying upside down for a long time and it was weathered really like nice and weathered and I, I kind of like the way that looks so what I think I'm going to do um, these nails on pallets if you've never seen them have these ridges in them Okay, and these ridges right here, they suck. You can hardly get these nails out. So most of the time you're not going to be able to get these planks off without breaking them. But if you take your time, you might get lucky. So far I've been able to take these out because they've been so rusty. Um, I do have a few other pallets back here that I could take some planks off of if I need them. But the goal for me is to basically... Make bookshelves out of here. So when you're done, um, the books will actually be sitting right here. And then you'll use one of these planks to put on the bottom here. And uh, then you will just uh, basically screw this thing to the wall. And you have a nice little cool hanging bookshelf. So I'm going to be able to get two bookshelves out of here. If I cut this right here and put a plank 
on this side. Um, I could actually use this side and this side, but I'm going to use these planks here to fill in the bottom gap. So that's what the plan is. I'll just kind of show you. Right now I'm taking all these planks off, so I'll just put little clips together as I go along. I don't know. I thought, why not? Some of you guys might like this. We'll see if I even use it. <laughs> Probably will. Alright, you guys. There they are. The bookshelves. Um, the only thing I would do different is uh, that bottom slat is not all the way down. And uh, the books like to fall out the back. So I'm going to take this uh, off and actually move it down a little bit. So just uh, note that. Otherwise, that looks really cool.